Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will cover Vijay Steel Junior Training 2017 already cancelled. Technical part 3 I will cover. Technical part I will cover. The mercury does not wet the glass. This is due to the property of liquid known as a cohesion B viscosity C adhesion D surface tension. Surface tension is the answer. Mercury does not wet the glass. Same question also so many times asked in IAS and also in other PSU exams. So this is very very important. Shock resistance of steel is increased by adding A nickel, B chromium, C nickel and chromium, D none of the above. Shock resistance or impact. Toughness should be good. If you add nickel, if nickel percent increases in steel, then your ductility will increase, ductility of steel will increase, toughness also increase, ductility, toughness, ductility will increase, toughness will increase, then tensile strength, tensile strength also it will increase. So, Nickel is the answer. Chromium, if you add chromium, then corrosion resistance will increase. Chromium for corrosion resistance. This is also important. So many times asked in other exams. For nickel, ductility, toughness, and tensile strength will increase. So, toughness. Is related with impact strength of or shock resistance. Gear finishing operation is called as A. Shaping, B. Hubbing, C. Milling, D. Burnishing. Gear burnishing is a finishing operation. Sand used for making coarse sand is for coarse sand we are using silica sand plus core oil. This sand we are using for making core, sometimes we also called as called it as oil sand. So from options A green sand, B dry sand, C loam sand, D oil sand. Oil sand is the answer. Or sometimes they may instead of oil sand they will give silica sand, then silica sand will be your answer. A diamond pointed chisel is used for cutting. This one also asked in MT paper. MT 2017. This one also already cancelled. This paper also asked same question. A diamond pointed chisel is used for cutting. Answer is V shaped groups. Surface finish is improved by increase in surface roughness. This is surface roughness. RI formula is F square by 32 R. This is also very very important question for IES and SSCJ exemption. So surface roughness is inversely proportional to surface finish. Surface finish. So surface finish or we can write it as R. Already R is there, so let it be in surface finish. If nose radius increases, then surface roughness will decrease. So surface finish will increase. Surface finish will increase with increase in nose. And for feed, F is feed. If F will increase, then surface roughness Ri is directly proportional, so it will increase. If feed increases, surface roughness Ri will increase and surface finish it will decrease. Then cutting speed, if we increase cutting speed then surface finish it will increase. Then one more thing is important here, end cutting edge angle. If we increase end cutting edge angle then surface finish will decrease. Then rack angle. 
rack angle if gamma increases then surface finish will increases so cutting speed this is correct nose radius or color true rack angle also correct so all of the above is your answer so any of these options also they can ask for nose radius speed then speed end cutting edge angle back rack angle in terms of surface roughness also they may ask so all these relations you have to remember barometer is used to measure a velocity of liquid b atmospheric pressure pressure in pipes and channels the difference of pressure between two points in a pipe difference in difference of pressure between two points we can use differential manometer differential manometer barometer we are using for atmospheric pressure pressures in pipes and channel manometer we are using so velocity pitot tube by using pitot tube also we can find velocity of liquid in order to measure the flow with a venturi meter it is installed a horizontal line b inclined line which flow upward c inclined line which flow downward d any direction and in any location d is the answer any direction and in any location this one also asked in psu exam so this is also important the value of bulk modulus of a fluid is required to determine block modulus k is compressibility 1 by beta equal to dv by v so mach number it's inertia force by force due to compressibility so from here we can get from compressibility we can find this mach number so it's related with mach number a definite area or space where some thermodynamic processes takes place is known as a thermodynamic system b thermodynamic cycle c thermodynamic process thermodynamic law answer is thermodynamic system which of the following is the extensive property of a thermodynamic system extensive property means depend on mass depend on mass or volume so and intensive property is independent of mass and volume pressure temperature and density all are independent of mass and volume these are intensive properties so only volume left volume is extensive property first law of thermodynamics deals with conservation of energy in fluid mechanics conservation of mass you will get continuity equation and conservation of momentum it's euler's equation these two are related with fluid mechanics and for first law of thermodynamics conservation of energy is the answer free cutting steels a contain carbon in free form b is used for rapid machining is the prime requirement C require minimum cutting force D none of the above. It's used where rapid machining is the prime requirement. B done. Mass per unit volume of a liquid at a standard temperature and pressure is called as mass density or simply density. Specific weight is rho g. Specific gravity is density of fluid divided by density of standard fluid. This specific gravity is. 
ए फ्लूड हैविंग नो विस्कोसिटी ए फ्लूड हैविंग नो विस्कोसिटी टू गो थ्रू न्यूटन फ्लॉ ऑफ विस्कोसिटी इन दैट ग्राफ यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर सियोस्ट्रेस वर्सेस डी यू बाई डी यू बाई चेंज इन सियोर स्ट्रेन रेट और स्ट्रेन रेट सो हियर जीरो सियोर स्ट्रेस दिस लाइन एक्स एक्सिस दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स आइडियल फ्लूड आइडियल फ्लूड हियर सियोर स्ट्रेस इज जीरो और भिस्कोसिटी इज जीरो सो आइडियल फ्लूड इज द आंसर न्यूट्रोनियन फ्लूड विल कम लाइक दिस इट्स न्यूट्रोनियन फ्लूड Here, shear stress is directly proportional to rate of shear strain or strain rate. Du by dy also called a velocity gradient or strain rate. A fluid whose viscosity does not change with rate of deformation or shear strain is known as Again, that figure we have to draw that graph versus shear strain or velocity gradient du by du by Newtonian fluid. Here, directly proportional viscosity does not changes. This graph is very very important. Your pseudo plastic fluid, n is less than one, n is greater than one, dilatant. Both are important here. Pseudo plastic. Here in x axis you will get ideal fluid. and also examples are also very very important already i discussed in my other videos so your answer is newtonian fluid one more graph you can draw that is also important viscosity versus velocity gradient or shear strain Here, this is fixed or constant for Newtonian fluid. Then, it's pseudo plastic fluid and dilatant fluid. N is greater than one. N is less than one. Here, dilatant. Here, pseudo plastic. Both are important. Machinability of steel is improved by adding nickel chromium for nickel toughness will increase and corrosion resistance. Chromium also corrosion resistance will increase. Sulfur, lead, and phosphorus. This is the answer. Machinability of steel is improved by adding sulfur, lead, and phosphorus. This one already discussed. Euler's number is the ratio of inertia force to pressure force. Inertia force to pressure force. Inertia force F I is rho a b square. Then pressure force F E is pressure force is pressure into area. So. This root over you have to do. A cancel. Then here you will get B by P by rho root over. This is Euler's number. This is also important. This formula B by P by rho whole root over. A is the answer. Kelvin Planck's law deals with A conservation of work, B conservation of heat, C conservation of heat into work. 
Kelvin Planck's law, conservation of heat into work and conservation of, sorry, its conversion of heat into work and conversion of work into heat is Clausius law. Refrigerator and heat pump and heat into work, here heat engine will be there. The measurement of a thermodynamic property known as, temp known as te temperature is based on a zeroth law of thermodynamics, B first law of thermodynamics, C second law of thermodynamics. Zeroth law of thermodynamics is basis for the temperature measurement. The unit of energy in SI units, it's joule. What is unit of power? What is joule per second? A steam nozzle convert in steam nozzle enthalpy drops. Heat energy is converted to kinetic energy. Heat energy of steam is converted into kinetic energy. So A is the answer. The deformation for unit length is called as A tensile stress, B compressive stress, C shear stress, D strain. Stress is, we know, stress is force for unit area. Now where deformation is coming, so A, B, C not possible, only strain is possible. Deformation for unit length, it's strain. Change in length for unit length. The specific weight of sea water is specific water. Its formula is rho into g density into acceleration due to gravity. And density of sea water is greater than density of water. Sea water is, I think, more than 1000. Number, I don't know, water is 1000. So, more than pure water is the answer. All steam engines work on a zeroth law of thermodynamics. No engine is works on zeroth law. B first law of thermodynamics, C second law of thermodynamics. Steam engines work on first law of thermodynamics. Heat energy converted to work. First law of thermodynamics. If they will ask for steam engine cycle, then answer with Rankine cycle or modified cycle. Modified Rankine cycle. Rankine cycle or modified Rankine cycle. This is also they are asking. All steam engine works on which cycle? First law of thermodynamics. del Q equal to del W. The property of a material which enables it to retain the deformation permanently, its plasticity enables to retain the deformation. Ductility is opposite. To regain to original shape, this is ductility. Tumbler gears and lathe used in to reduce the spindle speed. B. Cut gears. C. Give desired direction of movement to the lathe carrot. Drill a workpiece. Give desired direction of movement to the lathe carrot. So, tumbler gears we are using to change directions. Change direction. Direction of rotation of feed rod, lead screw and feed rods, lead screw and feed rod. So, C is the answer. The type of file used for woodwork is known as a single cut file, B double cut file, C rasp cut file. C is the answer, rasp cut file. 
For turning internal tapers, the suitable method is this is also asked in IES exams. For turning internal tapers, the suitable method is compound rest by swelling the compound rest. Form tool we are using for short and external tapers. Short length, short and external tapers. Then by setting our tail stock long length, long length of taper with small angle. with small angle by taper turning attachment this one also we are using for long work long taper taper turning attachment so here answer is swelling the compound rest already told machine tools are very very important and also material science part also very very important and welding and casting these are also very very important and cutting tool also these things you have to go through when they will conduct this exam i think maybe within one month they will conduct thank you friends thank you for watching my video thank you